gotta love that. That ain't true, I don't mean that. Oh man, what y'all think about Biden now? All you people voting for him. Woo! Yeah, reality's sinking in, ain't it? I was alive, I can remember Jimmy Carter days. You youngsters probably read about it in the history books about Jimmy Carter. Oh, sorry. I fucked up. I bounced the table and my camera hit. <laughs> but I remember back then you couldn't go get gas unless you're tag. Like you'd have odd days and even days and the last two numbers of your tag if it was an odd number then you could go on an odd day. They, You know like day 265, day 264. If it was day 264 and you had two numbers that were even on your tag on your car, then you could go gas your car, which you couldn't get very much. I think you could only get five gallons if I remember right. We lived in uh, Falls Church, Virginia, just right across the river from Washington, D.C. It's crazy, man. We sat in gas lines that would go. We went into D.C. thinking it'd be easier because there was a lot of gas stations downtown where all the big tall buildings are at. Exxons and Shells and Mobiles. No, bad idea. Hell, the line would go all the way down, two, three blocks, go this way, go that way. You might have to sit in line to get gas for, well, you might run out of gas, sitting waiting to get gas. I mean, we've seen people pushing their car to get to the gas station. Hell, they're 10 blocks from the freaking gas station. Maybe not 10, five, pretty damn far. Yeah, this, this is what Biden people wanted. All you people that voted for Biden, you voted for him because you hate one man. That's it. You hate one man, and you are willing to sacrifice every single American's life, everybody that's trying to come to America's life, and all these refugees we got coming into the country, which I don't blame them for trying to come here. America is a great country. It's awesome. It offers hope. But you got to do it legally. I got a wife that lives in the Philippines. I'm not trying to sneak her over here. I didn't send her to Mexico, tell her and my son to walk across the Rio Grande River and you get to come in here for free and you get, might get a $450,000 check. Yeah. Yep, yeah, all you Biden people, thank you. We can thank you for the shape this country's in right now. But you know what? We'll pull out of it. We'll make it through it. We're Americans. We're Americans. <laughs> we'll pull out of it. Yeah. And the hoe. Gotta go. But we need to wait and do it on election day. Because if they go too early, if Joe goes and the hoe goes, then we got Pelosi. We don't need her in control. But, yeah. See what hate does? You can correlate that into your job. You sure can. You can be mad at one person to cut you off cause a wreck that kills a whole bunch of people that don't even have nothing to do with it. So you gotta really, you gotta really, really, really use patience out here, man. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't tailgate. I hate tailgaters, man. I cannot stand. There's a truck come up on my ass today. I'm in the right lane where I'm supposed to be. I was going through a construction area. Speed limit's 55. So I was doing like 58, 59 mile an hour. There ain't no sense in speeding through construction areas. It ain't gonna get you nothing but a big old fine. 
you're not going to make no time up because you're having to weave in and out of traffic and all this. It's stupid. Just sit back, cruise, get through it, then mash that hammer down and go. Get out there and super truck, big truck, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it. But make, making bad decisions like that can, can cost you your life, man. When you come through these cities and all these construction areas, like coming up 59 again when I left Houston, going south, there was a wreck right before Cleveland. Anybody runs 59, they know where Cleveland is. You can take that, what is it, the 105, I think it is. You can take the 105 and go around. I've ran it a couple times, get around a few wrecks. The last wreck I went around was bad. Guy got killed. It was awful. But I was thinking to myself, man, I'm glad that ain't on the northbound side. I'm in a hurry. I need to, I wasn't really in a hurry. It, it was Friday at 2 o'clock. I didn't have to be in Indiana until 9 o'clock Monday morning, so I got plenty of time. It's 1,150 miles, so that ain't shit. Um, made it, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 miles north of Cleveland. We hit us a big old backup. Another wreck. Construction. Both areas where the wrecks were at were in construction because guys don't want to slow down going through that construction. It's They got signs up that says trucks use right lane. That's for a reason. The lanes are super narrow. There ain't really no room. There's room to pass. But boy, you got to do it perfect. You can't fuck up at all. You can't weave the least little bit or you're into that other truck and it ain't worth it, man. Just sit back and cruise and wait. Why take a chance? On being the reason that the fucking backup's going on. It ain't worth it, man. Just sit back and cruise. Get through it. When you when you get out of it, kick that blinker on, mash that gas, tote that ass, and do a lot of trucker trash. Get on down the damn road. But when you're in situations where there's construction, think about other people around you, man. There's kids in cars. There's babies in cars. There's people. It, it your load ain't that important that you got to go you know ain't nobody impressed with you jumping out in that left lane and maybe possibly wrecking somebody now i've done it i'm not gonna say i haven't done it i've done it a bunch of times i won't ever do it again so i ain't no hypocrite i've damn sure done it and i was a dumbass when i did it coming through the gorge back when the gorge slid off back in the 90s that was 96 97 maybe they made a road where you could go around as a little dirt road when you come to that first tunnel. You didn't go through the tunnel. You drove off the road down where the creek was and drove around the tunnel, around the hillside. Well, when you come out, when you come off that little dirt road they built for us to get around the tunnel so they could clean the mess up, it they got signs everywhere in the gourd that says trucks use right lane, which it's a little bit wider now, but back then it wasn't, man. It was it was you know, grease your ass and hope you can get in there thin. I'd pass people, and I had people yell at me on CB, you fucking dumbass, what the hell, can't you read? I will never do that again. That's stupid. It's dumb. It's better to just sit back, cruise the speed that everybody... Now, if a guy's going 20, 25 mile an hour, then yeah, fucking go around him, man. Mash that gas, get on around him, get to the speed you got to get to and get around that motherfucker and go because he's going to cause a wreck going too slow. You come off them hills, man, truck's got to roll. You can't ride them brakes coming off them hills, man. You set a damn truck on fire. But I know I'm rambling going off about a bunch of shit. It's Coors' fault. So if y'all want to ride a very strong letter to Coors Light, you let them know it makes mercenary talk a lot. Mm. Boy, it's good, though. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what to talk about, man. I got some good music playing. I do got that going. I love some blues, man. Rocking the rest area.
no copyright trouble. That's Whiskey Blues still playing. But bored to death, wanted to drive more. But the little clock ran out, so I had to park. I know back in the day, man. Hell, not back in the day, just three years ago. I was still running paper log three years ago. I was doing 1,000 miles every day. Every day, seven days a week. Yes, the log book shuffle. I was still doing it. You gotta have three, not two. You gotta have three. Anybody knows what they're talking about knows what I'm talking about. You got three log books running. Yeah, where you been, where you going, where you should be. <laughs> Can't do that on e-log, but there is ways to get around stuff. When you're struggling, soon but, hell, 700 miles a day ain't bad. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. That's good. But you guys are only doing 350, 400 miles a day. Man, you got to pump your game up a little bit. That ain't trucking. That's steering wheel holding. Don't be a steering wheel holder. Truck, man. Get your damn job done. Make money. Get out here and roll. Make money. Make them fat checks. Big checks, man. My check ain't 1500 I don't want it. Every week. Every week. You gotta have it, gotta have it. So, I ain't bragging or nothing, but fuck man, we got a hard job, it's worth money. Ooh yeah, this is a good one here. I like to play bass on this. Y'all listen to some blues, man. Badass. Help me through the night. Darling, your sweet love will make everything all right. Yeah. Help me through tomorrow. Blues is mood music, man. You get in a certain mood, there's a song for everything. Especially in blues. Blues will pick you up, lay you down, put you, patch your ass, and put you to bed. Ah, foot itch. Alright, man, I don't know what to say. I just want to make a video, man, let y'all know I'm thinking about you. I appreciate everybody, man. Hope everybody's safe. Everybody's trucking hard, trucking safe, and making smart decisions. If anybody needs any help, I've put it out there several times. Give me a holler, man. 606-331-8439. Hey, traveling man. <laughs> you sent me that text the next morning. You said, boy, I'm glad I ran out of beer. I'd probably be in the Philippines already. I was taking a drink of coffee, man. I about spit coffee everywhere when I read that. It cracked me the fuck up, man, because I was feeling the same way you was. If I hadn't been on the phone, I know you called me back, but I was on the phone with my little boy. When he calls, I don't answer, man, for nobody. I ain't, ain't, you understand. You know exactly what I'm talking about, but I meant what I said. You remember what I said to you? I meant that. I wasn't joking about that shit. So you let me know, man. Keep my number. Put it in your phone. You keep that. When I go home, you can still text me, man. I'll call you and let you know when I'm there. You get a wild hair up your ass, you want to take a flight? Come see old mercenary, buddy. We'll have us a good time. Y'all truck hard, truck safe, make smart decisions. I'm out of here.